Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, bringing you another in-person deck video. Uh, made some technical improvements, got a new adapter for my laptop, which is sitting over there, uh, so that now I actually get 1080p out of this camera with, you know, a little bit less buffering, hopefully. Uh, and I still get a decent number of frames out of the face cam. Hopefully it'll be good. All right, we are gonna go up against Journey Up the Anduin again. Uh, I would like to beat this quest, and I realized after the last one that I set up the encounter deck slightly incorrectly. Uh, when you set up the Evil Creatures deck, you are supposed to remove all the treacheries and the locations from that encounter set and just sort of set them aside, put them back in the box, whatever. That includes some of the annoying locations that we had to deal with, like that Gladden Fields, like the Brownlands, uh, and that also includes the Despair Treachery, which caused the death of Baragond. But I'm not going to run that same deck back because that, I, that's not really my style. Uh, so we're going to bring in a different deck this week sort of laid out in front of you. Uh, the plan is a slightly Dale-focused location control deck. Uh, our heroes are gonna be Bard, Son of Brand, again, to help us pay for all the items. Uh, Theodrid, to give us more resources on Bard to pay for items. Uh, and we have Falco, because he is a good quester. It comes in at a low threat point. Uh, and he has an emergency ability, but I'm really going to do my best not to ever use it. I mean, it's possible that I will need it, but I'd really rather not. All right, so sort of the attachments and the allies that we're going to focus on a little bit. Uh, we have Snowborn Scout, who is not Dale, obviously, but he is a scout. <laughs> we have Ravanian Outrider, who is Dale and also a scout. Uh, both of these allies will put progress on locations in the staging area, most likely. Um, they can both carry the map of Ravanian, which allows them to make more progress on the active location. Uh, although the map is probably going to start out on Bard, and then will trickle down to allies as needed. And we have a plethora of location-specific attachments. Uh, Thror's map is going to allow us to swap a big location like that nasty one that grows based on how big your allies are into the active location from the staging area. Uh, we also got Thor's Key, which will blank a location, which basically deals with them in the same way. Uh, and we have the trio of sort of reward cards, the Ancient Mathem, Ranger Provisions, and Elf Stone. Uh, there's actually only one Elf Stone. I'm trying it out. Of the three of those, I think it's the least useful. And it made space for more copies of the other location attachments. Uh, we've also got some warriors that can use the Hauberk of Mail, because that card is sweet. Uh, no plus HP, because they don't have Sentinel in this deck. Although I just realized that I could have brought in Arwen, and then this would be even better. But, uh, you know, I am willing to do that next time. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle all these into the deck, get an opening hand, set up the encounter, and I will see you back here in a minute. All right, we are back. I've got my opening hand. It's got uh, Thror's Key and Elf Stone. Uh, it's not probably the like best ally mix to use with this, but I think we're gonna be just fine. I have Darren's runes to draw a little more cards. Uh, and Gladden Fields is the first location, which doesn't seem so bad when you start at 23 threat. So I'm gonna run with it. Let's do the resource phase, turn one. Get my card. Well, that's an interesting one. All right, first things first, Darren's runes. Draws me two and I will discard uh, of all of these, I think two arms is the weakest, so I'm going to discard that. Uh, two arms is the spirit card that lets you ready an ally with an attachment for free, which seems useful, but probably not terribly great right away. 
Uh, all right, and I'm going to Thror's Key on Bard, Son of Brand. Uh, and I can't do an Elf Stone yet, so I'm just going to hold on to that resource. Yep, and we are going to quest. Uh, I'm going to send everyone, and I'm going to put the resource on... Uh, let's put it on Falco at this point. All right, so three in the staging area becomes four in the staging area. I sent five to the quest, means we make one progress and have to reveal one evil creature. Uh, I will travel to Gladden Field. Uh, Thor's Key, that is the, right, that's the blanking one. I always forget which one is the key and which one is the map. All right, so moving to the encounter phase, pop off that resource token and spawn a wargs. Uh, that seems okay. I am forced to engage the wargs. I do get a shadow card. Bard will defend. All right, and the goblin is in the staging area, which is probably actually for the best. Uh, Bard is gonna take one point of damage. Does not strike me as too bad. Uh, and I have a sneak attack in hand, but there's nothing I can really do with that. So we're just gonna leave it right now. Oh, geez, I just realized I didn't exhaust Bard when I sent everyone to the quest. So let's put that three undefended on Theodrid and we'll move on to the next round. All right, take up to 25. Stand up all of my heroes. Move this warg over here underneath the troll's loincloth. And I moved the camera so you can see the troll's face because it's really good. All right, uh, next round into the resource phase. Draw a card. Sorry, didn't realize that I was going to get a notification right now. All right, two. I'm going to play a Warden of Healing, which is going to help us not die. Uh, I could spend one for an Elf Stone on the Gladden Fields. Uh, that extra point of progress is going to help. And I am going to spend three early to get a Guardian of Rivendell in play. Well, I will discard Thror's Key. And I think a second Warden of Healing. Uh, this encounter deck is not too bad about direct damage to all the allies. Uh, it does dish out some damage, but not usually sort of uh, Necromancer's Reach style or the Brigand that does damage to all your allies. So probably be all right. All right, and we'll commit to the quest. Uh, two, three, <laughs> four, five. I uh, wish I could quest a little more, but I don't think I can. All right, we're gonna send five and I will put the resource on Theodred. All right, up against two in the staging area. I make three progress, which is pretty good. Uh, I can engage the stray goblin even if I want to. So. Wargs are going to make an attack. I will defend with Guardian of Rivendell. All right, we pop this progress off of the quest. And the Wargs are still engaged with me, so in theory I could sneak in this Knight of Dale, put a point of damage on the Wargs. Um, instead, I'm just going to use the Warden of Healing to heal one off of Theodrid, and we'll move on to the next round. Ticking up to 27, thanks to Gladden Fields. Refreshing heroes and allies. All right, and resource phase. We get one and one and up to two. And I draw, please be Gandalf. It's not Gandalf. 
Well, I mean, good news is I have two Knight of Dales, uh, and I cannot afford to play either one of them right now. I could sneak one in if I need it, which is going to discard the other one. Uh, but since I can't play anything right now anyway, it works out okay. All right, let's commit to the quest again. Still sending five, still putting the resource on Theodrid. We reveal a Gladden Fields. Uh, that's a little obnoxious, but okay. Uh, we tie. No progress is made. Warg's gonna get a shadow effect. I will defend with the Guardian of Rivendell. That shadow effect still does nothing. Uh, the wargs are still engaged. Warden of Healing will heal Theodrid. Uh, and we move on. Ticking up to 29, which I have realized is quite loud, but I really like this thing. Uh, we'll get there soon, I hope. Two, four, two resources, drawing a card, ooh. All right, well, I'm gonna spend four for a Knight of Dale, uh, which forces me to discard the rest of my hand thanks to Lost in the Wild, uh, which might hurt us a little bit. This deck is currently a little light on easy ways to generate cards but having the ally in play should be a big deal for this turn. So we're gonna quest two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, and we will put the resource on Theodred. And we reveal. Okay, uh, Doomed One puts me to 30. And then I guess I'm gonna raise my threat by three because we're already at the Hill Troll threshold and I don't want to kill this Warden of Healing. I forgot contradicting what I said. Uh, all right, but I sent seven up against five. It's two progress. I guess I was hoping to clear Gladden Fields when I had a card in my hand because that Elf Stone does nothing. Uh, but Gladden Fields does go to the victory display. Make one progress and put one resource on traveling north. Uh, I guess I'm going to travel to this other Gladden field. Yeah, that has to be added to the staging area. Uh, okay, so let's pop this off. That's not the evil creature deck. Spawn an evil creature. It's a wolf rider. Uh, that's not so bad, really. Because I can kill it. All right. Guardian of Rivendell is going to defend the wargs. No shadow effect. So they move back to the staging area. Uh, I will take this Wolf Rider attack undefended. Uh, attacking enemy gets plus one. So it is gonna do three damage. I should have healed first. Hmm. All right, so this was not exactly ideal. Uh, losing a hero, I think I'm just gonna reset and we'll kick it over again from the beginning. See you back in a minute. Okay, I am back and I had to take a mulligan and I think this is a little bit disastrous. I have two sneak attacks and basically no allies, uh, but ranger provisions will maybe get us off to a good start. So we're gonna find out. Get my one resource, an extra card from the first planning phase. Knight of Dale is pretty good. Play Darren's runes to draw two. Okay, there we go. Uh, discarding two arms again. Now I have a Gandalf and a Snowborn Scout. So basically everything's great. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pretty much just all there is to it. Um, going to spend one off of, uh, let's leave that one actually. Going to spend one off of Bard to put a Ranger Provisions on the Hills of Wilderland. 
I think I am not going to play an ally this round. I have Sneak Attack and Gandalf if I need it, and the staging area is already a little bit big. Uh, so let's just commit to the quest. First things first, we'll send all our heroes yet again. Uh, put that resource on Theodred. I do also have a Knight of Dale in hand, and if I need it, being able to sneak attack twice is potentially relevant. So, five committed to the quest. Up against five means we exactly tie. That helps. Uh, I will travel to the Hills of Wilderland. Uh, and I am forced to engage the Misty Mountain Goblins. Could probably take this undefended, but I don't really want to. So let's pay one for a sneak attack. Uh, drop a Gandalf into play. Um, do I want to take it undefended? Uh, so either this is going to go really disastrously or really great. So let's draw three cards. One, two, three. Take it undefended. All right. Goblin is in the staging area. That's probably actually helpful. Two damage goes on. We'll put it on Bard. Uh, and Gandalf can kill the goblins, clearing a way for the future. Gandalf comes back to my hand at the end of the combat phase. And we move to refresh, standing all my heroes up. And I'm sorry if you can hear whatever's happening above me. I have no idea what my neighbors are doing. All right, resource phase the following round. We'll draw more cards. Uh, already have a die on each of these heroes. Uh, so this is looking pretty good. Don't have an attachment for the North Realm lookouts yet. Also can't play them because I don't have the resources. Oh, this could be a big blowout if I get the no hand thing. Uh, all right, so. Uh, it's not worth doing that right now either. I think I'm just gonna spend one for a Thror's map. Uh, this allows me to blank if I get another nasty location. Uh, and I'm going to save up my resources a little bit. So we're going to quest for five again, uh, which is possibly a little bit overkill this time. But we'll see what we get. So questing for five up against one. Up against. All right. Frenzied Hill Troll. Okay, I sent five up against three, means I will make two progress. Uh, and I'm at 24 threats, so I don't have to deal with that hill troll until I have built up a little bit. Uh, so I think that's okay. Let's just refresh. Draw a card. Move to a lot of resources all across the board. Uh, what is the reasonable order to do this in? I think what I'm gonna do is immediately spend one for a Snowborn Scout. Oh, that doesn't work, because as soon as he comes into play, he adds more progress requirements. <laughs> so, all right, back in and on up. Spend four for a Knight of Dale. Uh, two for a North Realm lookout. Uh, and once we pop that location, I have an Erebor Hammersmith that will allow me to get the Ranger Provisions back. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I'm going to send five, six to the quest. I'm going to put the resource back on Theodrid for the second sneak attack if I need it. All right, I've sent six up against six. It is an exact tie. 
Hmm. Well, that's obnoxious, but all right. I guess I can move on. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I still have a little bit of threat leeway before I have to deal with the troll. So, refreshing everyone. Uh, drawing my cards, adding my resources. So the challenge is you don't really want to overquest too much in this quest until you've built up a little bit. But you also don't really want to underquest too much. Uh, all right, well, we're going to put an Ancient Mathem on the Hills of Wilderland because that will allow me to make progress without uh, really needing anything else. Uh, do I want to sneak in a Gandalf this round? Let's see, so there's six up against me. I can send eight. I need to make at least three progress. Uh, so yeah, during questing, I'll spend one off of Thedrid to play second sneak attack. Dropping in a Gandalf. Uh, Gandalf is gonna draw me three cards. Gets me another Gandalf and a map of Ravanian. That's a plus, uh, but we're in questing so I can't do anything with it this round. So, uh, we are going to quest two, three, four, five, six, ten. Um, let's make it 12. Add a resource there uh, so that I can ready the Knight of Dale if I need it. I don't have another sneak attack, but I think we should be okay. All right, so 12 up against six in the staging area. Yes, that's the one. We are going to use Thror's map to, oh no, dang it, I forgot which one was the map and which one was the key. All right, so that's uh, six. So 12 against 12. <laughs> so I make exactly zero progress. Gandalf is gonna come back to my hand and we're gonna move on to the next round. All right, 27. Ah, map and key, always in the wrong order. Or I always forget which one is which. All right, it's down to a five. Not like that's gonna make a difference. All right, uh, did I take up my threat? I don't think I did. So 28, one. Draw another card. Uh, this is getting a little bit ridiculous, but maybe I have a solution. I said maybe. Um, yeah, this, this might be worth it, but it's gonna be a little silly. All right, so we're gonna <laughs> one, two, play a Snowborn Scout and another Snowborn Scout. Uh, they're going to put two progress on this one. During questing, they're going to tick down the threat of the other Hills of Wilderland, which is currently sitting at a seven. Uh, I have, ooh, can't Gandalf this round. Oh, no, yes, I can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Spend one for a map of Ravanian on the North Realm lookout who now has two willpower and makes an automatic point of progress. Uh, and I'm going to spend five for Gandalf, who is going to, uh, do I think one is the problem? Not really. So this ticks up to eight, same as that one. Uh, and I'm gonna drop my threat back down to 23. Uh, we're getting awfully close to having to deal with that hill troll and at this point, I'm a little worried about the potential of a blowout with that stupid encounter card that comes into your hand. So let's move to questing. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, 13 committed to the quest. I will use two Snowborn Scouts to tick this down to six threat right now. So, 
Uh, we'll make one progress for free. Uh, 13 up against 12. 14 means my threat goes up by one. Uh, but I will eventually clear out the hills of Wilderland this way, eventually. Uh, all right, so I failed by one. Uh, I guess I could swap that with the active, but I don't want to because that thing has a massive threat. Uh, and I can't engage these enemies right now. So, so let me make sure I count that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen plus the two. Yeah, okay. All right, refresh. 25 threat. Gandalf goes away at the end of the round. And during the resource phase, we get resources back. Uh, I clearly forgot to put one of these just based on what I had. I would have put it on the bard because if I draw another attachment that can go on a Dale ally, I have another North Realm lookout. Uh, yeah, draw my card for planning. Nope, that's just another lookout, uh, which is good, but not super helpful. Uh, I have four resources, which cannot turn into Gandalf. Uh, so we just have to quest and sort of hope. Uh, this is back at seven. So questing. Two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, do this to take this down to five for the round. All right, so my nine up against 13. I do make one progress for free. And we reveal Lost in the Wild, which goes into my hand. Uh, that's not so bad, actually. Uh, I counted this up a second ago, 6, 11, 13, so my threat is going to go up by 4. There we go. Uh, and as soon as I play a card, my whole hand is going to go put it, uh, which is fine. Force happens before response, so what I will probably end up doing is using Gandalf. Uh, Gandalf is an enter's play anyways. Uh, Gandalf will draw me cards, get a little bit back into the deck. Uh, all right, moving on. Taking up to 30. Draw my card. Darn. It's okay, I have both of the North Realm lookouts and a map of Ravanian in my hand, but I can't play those. Uh, so we are gonna play a Gandalf, which forces me to discard my hand. I have to decide how I want to pay for this, but I think I'm gonna leave, so I have seven, I get to leave two resources. So leave one on Bard and one on Theodrid. Um, and in my discarded hand, I think, I will put Ranger Provisions as the top attachment in case I draw a uh, Hammersmith. Okay, Gandalf ticks this back up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we need two more progress. Uh, but Gandalf does also let me draw three cards or drop my threat. Uh, I think I have to drop my threat because I'm clearly not ready for the hill troll this early. Uh, so nothing in hand, which sucks, but I'll take it. Uh, all right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen. Take this down by two. So thirteen up against twelve. Thirteen. Uh, threat of the active location is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have to assign eight damage. Uh, here is three for Gandalf. Four, five, six. Um, uh, 
Oh god, map. All right, I have two more damage left to assign. We're gonna put this here. Uh, I already committed to the quest, so map of Ravanian should have triggered already, bringing me up to seven on that Hills of Wilderland. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen, up against one, two, three, four, seven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, okay. So assign the last two to Snowborn Scouts, which drops this down to four threat, making, assuming I have done this correctly, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 to match my 13 for zero progress. Uh, and this Hills of Wilderland is currently at over progress. So it gets explored. And I get two pop these two to draw three cards and add a resource to all my heroes. One, two, three. There's a sneak attack, but probably doesn't matter anymore. Two, two, uh, one. That was pretty good, all things considered. These stupid stray goblins are gonna haunt me until I engage an enemy. Uh, where am I going to travel? I think I have to travel to Hills of Wilderland. I just basically can't be anything else. Uh, it's so much threat in the staging area. Can't engage the stray goblins. Don't want to deal with the hill troll. All right, refresh. Takes up to 26. I've <laughs> gradually slid all of my characters down. Uh, Gandalf goes away at the end of the round. And in the resource phase, we get more resources on everyone and draw myself one card. Well, I guess I will play a Ranger Provisions. That's an easy one. Pay two for a Warden of Healing because I could use that pretty badly. The rest of my hand is crap, uh, but that's okay. Let me see how many hammersmiths I have lost. I did want to put Ancient Mathem on the top this time. Only one hammersmith in the discard pile so far. We could get another one. All right, uh, let's move on to questing. There is four, seven, eight, nine in the staging area against me which means I'm probably gonna to have to send everyone again. So here we go. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oof. Yep, I'll send nine, and that immediately triggers a progress on the Hills of Wilderland. And I reveal a goblin troop. So my nine up against 12 means my threat goes up by three. One, two, three. Well, I mean, I can <laughs> heal some allies, uh, but I think unless I draw the last Gandalf that this is probably just gonna be over. Let's see how we do. Ticking up to 30. Doing the refresh thing. Draw myself a card. Four, three, and one. Yep, that is a thrower's key, which is great, but it's not gonna help. Um, I think I'm calling defeat. Uh, I really should stop like playing silly Dale decks that have zero playtesting or gold fishing put into them up against this. Uh, it seems pretty clear that this quest is not playing around. I know people have said that the side quest deck works really well and you know I've played the side quest deck before so I don't really feel like doing that right now uh, but it's definitely an option. It allows you to quest as hard as you want without spawning evil creatures. Um, I think with the shadow cards out, 
uh, the Baragon deck that I played could do pretty well too. Uh, you probably do want to have Thror's Key so that you can blank this stupid Hills of Wilderland. Um, just sort of my bad luck to get two of them before seeing a single Thror's Key. I mean, how many of them are even in the deck? I'm pretty sure it's two. Yeah, it's just two. So getting those both early is not a good way to start. Uh, a frenzied creature on the hill troll normally would scare me. And I guess in this deck, since the combat potential doesn't get that high altogether, maybe I should be more frightened. But honestly, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Uh, you can manage your threat pretty easily. And you can't faint the hill troll when it's frenzied, but worse things have happened. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that was just my bad luck on the Hills of Wilderland. And, you know, softballing this quest. Honestly, uh, Arwen instead of <laughs> Bard and... I guess Grima, maybe, instead of Falco would do really well. It allows you to play all the same cards, right? If you're not trying to play silly, expensive Dale allies just because you want to play some Dale cards... If I could actually draw the Ravanian Outrider to help me put more progress on locations, you know, lots of things that could have gone a little better. All right, everyone, that is going to be it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.